everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be testing out the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation. I'm so excited to try this. Everybody has been raving about this. I got my hands on it through a BoxyCharm. I chose the shade 3 Cool. It's a tiny bit light for me right now but it's okay we're gonna make it work and then I'm also going to be using the pretty filter icy sherbet primer it's silicone free and it has a cooling effect it's by touch and soul two awesome products that we're gonna be using today I already have my lips and brows and eyes done so we're just gonna be focusing on the face also if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button it helps me a ton this is what the primer looks like it's got a little bit of a pink hue to it and it just looks like your typical silicone primer Primer, but there's no silicone in it. So I am super excited to test this out. I think I used it once before, but I don't really remember. It was a while ago. It feels very moisturizing. Wow. It is just getting rid of that shine. Do you guys see the difference? Look at my forehead to my cheeks. Oh, oh my gosh. That's crazy. I love it already. Wow. If you guys have oily skin and large pores and texture, you guys are going to love this. I actually got this a while ago in either a BoxyCharm box or I purchased it. And I'm so happy that I did. I'm feeling an instant cooling effect. My skin feels very refreshed right now and we are ready for the foundation. This is what it looks like outside of the package and it comes in a nice pump. Again, this is the three cool shade. We're gonna start out with just one pump. The last foundation video I did, I did two pumps and it was way, 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 way too much. We're gonna blend, blend, blend. I love using a beauty blender because it just gives you that flawless finish. Like I said, it is a little bit off shade wise, but we're gonna fix it. It's okay. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's like giving me a white cast. So I shade matched myself with this and it literally matched like really nicely. That was like a month ago when we did our choice and then obviously I got the box and yeah my skin has changed since then so I'm so sorry guys if you guys choose a foundation and you get some sun or you don't get sun and then your shade changes hopefully you guys picked the right one if you got it from BoxyCharm. Wow it does look really nice um I will say though getting really up close guys I do have a little bit of texture. This is a dry spot right here, and I don't know if you guys can see right here, but it is caking into my pores. So it's not sitting on my skin super flawlessly, unfortunately. It looks good from a little bit away. It's not as bad as some other foundations. I just tried one from Posis the other day. Check out that video if you guys missed it. That one did not go in my pores or fine lines at all. I was super duper impressed, but it was a little bit like on the oily side, this one is not. So this one I like the feel of and the consistency better, but unfortunately it is going into my pores like crazy. It's okay, once we apply powder, let's see if that fixes it. A little bit, <laughs> a little bit on the light side. <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys, I didn't think, like, I never get tan, and I just was not expecting that, and I got tan! We're gonna set this with a little bit of powder. I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. It's just a translucent setting powder, and it does give more of, like, a mattifying look, so I definitely like this powder a lot. I got it in BoxyCharm a while back as well. So much stuff from BoxyCharm. I do have a few foundations that are a little bit like darker, so I was figuring if for some reason I got a little bit tan or whatever, I could use this as my like winter color just because obviously it is lighter. But we can still make it work for summer. We just gotta warm up the face and that's not too hard to do. We're gonna go in next. I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Matte Bronzer and we are going to warm it up, warm it up. We just got a bronze for days and then just, you know, give me two more minutes and we'll be there. Okay guys, we are all bronzed up. So, we're looking better. We are looking a lot better. I'm gonna go in next and we're gonna add a little bit of blush, some pops of pink. And this is the Natasha Denona Blush Glow Duo. And we're just gonna go in with the blush shade. I don't really use the highlighter. Add a little bit to the nose. 
All right, guys, so that is the foundation. We're gonna take my hair down real quick as well. All right, so this is the completed look. Again, I'm gonna show you guys up close. Do you guys, can you guys see? Because um, it's, I have this dry spot here that I didn't actually know was here. That's flaking. It looks a little bit like airbrushed. It, I mean, it does look good, I will say that. The thing is, if you have any texture, it's still gonna show it like a lot of foundations will, but it looks good. Like once I like bronzed it up, you know, added some extra color, <laughs> it's looking nice. It almost, I feel like, and I never feel this guys, I feel like, with the powder and everything on my skin, it actually, like, my skin almost feels a little dry. That's strange. I've never had that happen, ever. Let me grab a setting spray for my face real quick. I'm going to be using the Avail Soft Focus Setting Spray to set everything in place and see if this will help with the dryness feeling. I breathed that in. That was not tasty. Mm. Today's video shout out word is flawless. If you comment flawless down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. All right, guys, here's the thing. I feel like my skin does look really good. Like this foundation does look really good. Like it does look flawless, but I don't know why my skin feels dry. Like my skin never feels dry. I have oily skin guys. Like this is a weird feeling for me. I don't know why it feels like this, but it does. Has anybody else ran into that issue? Um, also, Again, like I said, if you got dry skin, um, if you got any blemish spots or flaky skin, it's gonna show. I didn't even know I had this until I looked up close. I like the foundation though. It's really nice. Like it looks good. I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror. Like the foundation looks good, guys. It looks good. This primer, I mean, maybe the primer had something to do with it. I don't know. Anyways, the primer I thought did really good. Maybe that's why my skin feels a little dry. Maybe that's it. I don't know. With the primer, the foundation went on really nicely. Using the Beauty Blender went on super nice. Powder worked pretty well with it. Nothing really looks too streaky or anything. I mean, you can see, like, up close, you can tell I'm wearing foundation. Obviously, I'm wearing makeup, but, like, it's, like, one of those foundations where you can tell you're wearing it. Unless you apply, like, such a small amount. Like, if you have perfect skin and just apply a little amount, you'll be okay. But I'm not one of those people that has perfect skin and can do that. If you guys have tried this foundation, let me know what you guys think down below. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. It's definitely a nice formula. It's not, like, sticky and gross like some foundations. It went on super smooth. Just find your right shade guys find the right color for you even though your skin is always changing i would rate it like an 8 out of 10 i think it's a nice one there's a few little things that could be tweaked but all in all i like it i will say though looking at the ingredients i, I i'm not the biggest fan of the ingredients i will say that but the formula is nice it works it does its job if you guys have tried this foundation, let me know down below. Do you guys think it's worth the hype? What do you guys think? I think it's nice. Today's video shout out goes out to Kimberly Devotti. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want a shout out in my videos, make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye.